the cancelling of free prescriptions for the over 60s would be a disaster for tens of thousands of Britons, an expert has warned. The government is debating whether to raise the eligibility for free NHS prescriptions in England from 60 to 66 in an effort to save money. Certain groups in this age bracket would still be eligible but it would be means tested. The news has been met with fury, including from many who are angry that all prescriptions are free in Scotland and Wales. Now Laura Cockram, chair of the campaign group Prescription Charges Coalition, has waded into the debate. Speaking express.co.uk, she said, charging for prescriptions would be a disaster for tens of thousands of people who may face a new barrier to accessing their vital medicines. Far from saving the NHS money, this proposal is likely to cost more and do lasting damage to the nation's health. The news has been met with fury, including from many who are angry that all prescriptions are free in Scotland and Wales. Now Laura Cockram, chair of the campaign group Prescription Charges Coalition, has waded into the debate. Speaking the Metro, she said, charging for prescriptions would be a disaster for tens of thousands of people who may face a new barrier to accessing their vital medicines. Far from saving the NHS money. This proposal is likely to cost more and do lasting damage to the nation's health. The proposal risks more people choosing between which medicine they can afford, or which bills they can pay. Charging for prescriptions generated around £600 million for the NHS in 2019. This figure would rise significantly if the rules were introduced. But Thorun Govind, chair of the Royal Pharmaceutical Society's English Pharmacy Board, says that overall pressure on the NHS would outweigh any savings made, she said, if you can't afford your medicines, you become more ill, which leads to poor health and expensive and unnecessary hospital admissions. Age UK charity director Caroline Abrahams claimed that the move would be a kick in the teeth to both older people and the NHS. 